What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and um, in today's video guys we're gonna go ahead and get ready for my training weekend as we all know I'm in the military so um, what I usually get ready first is that I usually get my flag which is like the um, the armor that protects me from getting shot get I usually get that ready and then after that I'll be going through all this mess as you guys can see I've um, got a lot of mess going on here and I should did this on purpose so I can be able to see exactly what's going on and be able to um, pick whatever I want and what I don't want and just leave it here. But I um, mean, yeah, that's all this mess, guys. I know it's messy, but it's gonna get cleaned up really quick and I'll be going through um, the whole thing with you all. All right, guys, so I'm getting um, this stuff ready. It's called a skivvy, um, a skivvy roll. It looks just like this when I'm done with it. So it contains a shirt, uh, shorts, and socks. There's a way to actually do it right, but I'm just kind of like going through it. I got no time to really waste, but um, yeah, that's how it goes. Okay, so there we go. We try to get a, about one a piece for each day that I'm gonna be in the field. So I'm gonna make at least four of them. So yep. This is a little waterproof bag. Usually keeps the water out of my dry um, uniform. So as long as I really get it tight enough, I should have some dry clothes or dry uniform, whatever. By the time I need it. It's gonna be really tight. Sleeping bag. This is what I sleep in when I'm out there. So I usually put the light stuff in the bottom and then put the heavy stuff after that. And everything gotta be, um, the heavy stuff gotta be as close as possible to my back, top back out of my body. So get that done. This usually um, helps keep the mosquito out of your buzz and everything out of your uh, away from your body. When you're sleeping outside without a tent, that's usually really helpful. Some people say it actually helps keep the rain out, but um, a little bit, but not a whole lot. I've seen it getting wet. I've been wet inside of this baby sack. It is what it is. However, I'm not gonna take this. I hope there's not gonna be no mosquitoes out there, but um, should be okay. Should be okay without a little baby sack. All right. What else I put in? Oh, actually, um, food. Um, yeah, let me just go over food. So usually when I get out there, I usually take a lot of like, not a lot, a few snacks, just to keep me keep me going. So I usually take some some beef sticks. Not this whole box. It's a few, just a few of them. And then uh, try to take some energy bar, whatever. So I'm gonna take like three from here and then probably like 10 from the um, beef sticks. So I'm washing this flag because um, it was too muddy to wash things because they're dirty. Watch this thing, man. It was too muddy. It's too dirty, buddy. Okay, I'm Yeah. He didn't say you should come here. Did I invite you, Z? Yeah. Probably not. I did not invite you. Yeah. Why are you lying, bro? Why are you lying, buddy? It's not actually a deep wall, just a little clean up, I guess. Not gonna do too much. Just getting the mud off it. 
of this thing and it should be good. So um, I had to clean these mags. Um, last time we were shooting, they, they kind of got really muddy. And so I had to make sure everything is um, cleaned up really good. And the only, I think the, only, the best way to clean mud is just water. So I used water to clean it up. And they look decent. So they look good for now. All right, my people, um, everything is ready. Got my soul pack, main pack, and my flak ready. And these three are gonna be my gear for this training. Um, I'm not gonna really talk too much about what I put in there and what I put in there, but you guys can really tell this is a bigger pack and a smaller pack. I keep this the whole time when I'm training and keep that on too. So these two stays on my body the entire time. Um, at least for like 85% of the time. And this one is mainly like the main pack that I carry like most of my um, stuff in. Like literally my snacks, my sleeping bag and everything goes in there. All right. And I'm gonna throw these mags onto that flag right there. So got my mags on my flag right there. So there's a little cover that covers them, like in the front, but I love to leave mine open. I mean, it's a little habit that pretty much like most Marines kind of do. Um, so I got my flag kind of ready. And just to go over what I usually leave on my flag is, normally I don't leave this, um, the eye protection on here, but I usually carry some sort of Gerber and grenade pouch uh, for the grenade. And usually have my gloves attached to that. And my magazines, for those who don't know what magazines are, this is the little pouch that carries like um, ammunition. It carries the bullets for the weapon. So um, yeah, these are the mags. And pretty much that's it, guys. I uh, got my flag ready. It looks kind of weird because it's wet. It's kind of a little wet from earlier's um, little wash. So it's still a little bit wet, but it's going to get dry. Um, yeah. And this little body here, I didn't mention it, it's what we call the um, isomat. So it's gonna be my little mat mattress when I get out there in the woods, so I can sleep on that um, if I feel like it. And that's about it, guys. Um, I'm ready to go. My boots are ready. Everything is ready. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. That's all I had to do, um, I have to do to get ready for every training. Hey, right here. Hey, get that here down there real quick. Watch out. Hey, we got